And now your host for this evening, The Bottles. You're working on at the moment the Beatles documentary. Yeah, I am, yes, Andy, I am. And how how is that? Are you a big Beatles fan? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm a, I am a Beatles fan. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's like it's uh, we've got 57 hours of footage that no one's ever seen, and 130, 140 hour, hours of audio that no one's ever heard. Well, pe people have heard the audio, sort of as it, it's been on bootlegs, but no one's seen this footage because it's it's only just been scanned. It's been sitting in tins on a shelf for 50 years. The negative has only just been scanned, so, um, and we've done it, we've restored it through our World War One pipeline. Are you using so, the same techniques? Same as techniques, yeah. Even though it's a 1960s film, it was, it was shot on 16 mil, it was pretty grainy, and it was, you know, and it's been sitting around for 50 years, so we um, we put it through this pipeline and it's come out, my God, it's come out like it's incredible. It looks, looks unbelievable. You'd, you'd think it was shot now, you know. So it, look, like it looks like contemporary Beatles film. Really? It's the best footage of the Beatles that I've ever seen. It's the only film of the Beatles um, at work in the studio just sort of like the cameras like a fly on the wall like the cameras here that the Beatles are just doing what they're doing for a project and there's just a two there's two cameras filming them for 21 days just as they're writing songs uh, rehearsing songs figuring out what what they're going to be doing because it was intended to be a live show that never, never actually happened the 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 21 days of footage is incredible as they sort of go through the process of of, of writing new songs for the concert. And it's a great process to watch, and they're funny. They're, they're very, very funny, very human. Was there anything that surprised you about when you were watching it that you learned about the Beatles? Well, I certainly learned about it, a lot about this particular period of time. Every book that you read says that they were at each other's throats, it was miserable, and it was the beginning of the breakup of the Beatles and everything else. And that's actually just not true. They're not a band that's intending to break up. There's hardly any, any arguments, if you can even call them arguments, there's hardly any Thing like that they are totally together john and paul are working t as a team george george brings in some great songs because he's beginning to to write some really good songs now and so they work on they work on his songs ringo's there the whole time just focused whenever he's you know so I, it's, it's you know it gives you a look at these at these guys and i think it's not going to be what the mythology of this period you know what you read in the box is going to be is going to surprise people i did sit with ringo for for three or four hours and go through footage with him and he was he was that that was interesting because seeing it, it, did, it did inspire a lot of a lot of memories and stories from him yeah just seeing it for the first time i mean it was the first time he'd seen it for 50 years oh really mm. oh wow oh no it was great it was great every time this every time they were they were playing he would just he would just be tap he would just tap the drum beat, beating his knee like he, he can't he can't help himself he's just it just he's got, he's got it in his blood. Harrison is accused of assaulting a photographer last May as he and Beatle Ringo Starr left a nightclub. Hey! For Beatle fans, it, it's going to I think going to re it's going to it's going to it's going to make you rethink this period of time if you're a Beatles fan and you and you sort of think you know all the stories and stuff. And if you're not a Beatles fan, I think you're going to see you know four guys. Writing some great songs, and think, you'll say, oh, "Oh, I know, I know that song. Oh, oh that's a famous song, isn't it?" Oh, yeah. And you're actually going to see these these four guys at, at, in a really kind of, you know, at, at, if you like, the, the height of their creative powers, just just doing amazing work. <laughs> <laughs>